Hey everyone, Teo here. In this video, I want to show you 10 tips and shortcuts you can use to improve your workflow when drawing with the Concepts app. Some of the features that you may see in this video may not be available to you depending on which version or which OS you are using. For example, right now I'm using the Android version of Concepts and I can use my two fingers to pinch to adjust the size of the thumbnails. And this feature is not available with concepts on Windows. And on Android, I can swipe left and right to the different folders that I have here by the side. This feature is not available on the iPad. All right, let's start with the first tip. Let's create a new file. The first tip is you can use keyboard shortcuts with concepts. Concepts on Windows will get all the keyboard shortcuts, whereas concepts on iPad and Android only have a subset of shortcuts. So with keyboard shortcuts, you can actually use the number keys to switch between the twos. You can press one for two, number one, two, three, four, up to eight. So instead of using your pen to switch between the twos, you can use the keyboard shortcuts to switch between the twos very quickly. If the tool is already selected, you can tap on the number again to call up the settings dialog box. And if you want to switch to a new tool and change the settings immediately, just tap the number two times. There are many keyboard shortcuts that I am not able to feature in this video. So I'm going to make another video to show you all those useful shortcuts that I use. The second tip is inside settings under finger action. You can choose different actions or tools for your finger. So if you want perfect palm rejection, you can choose pen canvas. And if you want to select objects very quickly, you can set your finger to the select tool. If you happen to be using a pen with a side button, you can actually customize the side button as well. For example, I may want the side button to select objects. So I set it to the select tool and I want my finger to just pen the canvas. So when you are drawing, you can use your finger to pan around. Of course, you can use two fingers to pan around anyway. It's just that sometimes I prefer to use one finger. And if you want to select any objects that you have drawn, because the shortcut has been set to the side button, I can press the side button here to select this object. So this is my computer table. Let me just switch to two number two using the keyboard. I switch to two number two for the thinner lines and two number three for the thicker lines. Let me just draw my computer monitor that is on my table. The third tip is to use the locking feature to help you delete things more easily. So here I have my computer stand overlapping the table behind. So you can see this line which I want to delete. I can also see lines overshooting into this monitor stand. So to delete all these lines easily, I can use the select tool here or the shortcut that I have assigned to my side button. Select the stand, lock it, and now I can switch to the eraser tool or the slice tool and just erase the line beneath without affecting the computer stand. The fourth tip is on how you can unlock objects quickly. If you know where the locked object is on the layer, you can tap on the layer and tap on the arrow button and tap here to unlock that object. And this will unlock everything on that layer. If you don't know where the locked object is, you can use the selection tool and tap here to include lock objects and do a big selection over everything and tap on the unlock button here. The last way is my favorite way and this only works if you have keyboard shortcuts. So control A to select everything and tap on the unlock button. The fifth tip is you can draw and close shapes to help you fill colors easily. For example, if I want to fill the color for the tabletop, I can actually draw the tabletop as a single shape like this without any gaps. Now I can select this shape, duplicate it, and switch to a different style. In this case, I switch to the fill tool, and this will allow me to color this very quickly. 
it doesn't work here because earlier on I deleted the line behind the computer stand so if I select this line now and duplicate it and just move it aside you can see that this is not a closed shape so there are certain limitations with this technique tip number six is you can easily move objects onto different layers by selecting the object and dragging it onto the layer so let me just select this potted plant with the selection tool and drag it onto its own layer that i have just created so now i can see whether my table looks good with or without the plant tip number seven is if the line art is created with the same tool you can actually select the line art and change the color of the lines very quickly so let me just select the potted plant again by selecting this layer which only has the plant tap on the arrow button to select everything and maybe switch the color to a darker brown and see if it works i'm not sure if it works anyway let me do a quick selection on the leaves here and i want to change the colors of the leaves to something that is green and see if it works the next tip is on how you can reuse colors that you have already used in your palette. To do that, just go into the settings, go under gestures, under tap and hold, select the color picker tool. So now when you tap and hold on the canvas, it will pick the color. So let's say I want to color this cabinet below my table with the same brown here. I can select the fill tool, tap and hold, select this color and color this and if i want a darker brown for the shaded area i can tap and hold move to the darker brown area and select that color to color the shaded area if your artwork has many colors you may want to create a small palette of small swatches here so that you can pick those colors very quickly if you are using concepts on ipad if you call out your color wheel the colors that you have used are already highlighted here so you don't actually need to create this palette but if you're using concepts on windows and android creating a small palette of colors that you have used can be quite useful tip number nine is you can quickly zoom to 100 percent by double tapping the zoom level here so just double tap this and it will zoom back to 100 percent if you tap this once you get these options if you want to lock the zoom you can do so by tapping on the lock button you can also lock the rotation and if you want to zoom to a very specific level you can tap on the options here and tap again and type in the zoom level you want so let's say i want to zoom to 333 press enter and now i'm at 333 zoom the last tip is for those who are using concepts on the ipad if you look at the layers palette and the sorting is set to automatic when you select a tool a new layer will be created for that tool specifically for example i just tap on the pen tool and a new layer for pen has been created if I tap on the fill tool again, it will go back to the fill layer. If I tap on the splatter brush that I have, a custom layer is created. You can actually change the name of this layer, not from here, but from inside the brush settings. So let's say whenever I select the splatter brush, I want that layer to be called splatter let me select that brush first which is under the waterfall set that's called spatter 7 tap on it again and scroll all the way down currently that layer is called custom and i can change that so let me just tap on that name delete it and call it a new name called wc spatter 7 and enter so now when I select that specific spatter brush, a new layer called WC Spatter 7 will be created. You can create a custom layer name for each brush that's here and you can also create a custom layer name for the default brushes as well. So those are the tips and shortcuts that I use all the time. 
If you guys are interested to learn more about concepts, you can check out the many free tutorials that I have on my YouTube channel. I also have some detailed illustration courses on using concepts which are available on Skillshare and also on my Patreon page. The links are in the video description below. Alright, I hope this video is useful. See you guys again. Bye!